So how do you know whether to choose a surf skate or cruiser? It can be confusing if you're just starting out. So I'll do my best to share my experiences to help paint a clear picture. Real quick, I just finished making our skate setup handbook, which is a free 17 page PDF to help you master your setup. You can get access to it at concretewaves.com slash handbook. Okay, first let's discuss the differences between surf skate trucks and cruiser trucks. While there are many variations, typically cruiser skateboards will use traditional kingpin trucks because they sit lower to the ground, making pushing and ollies easier. However, there are exceptions like the loaded Bologna or Lanyot's Ultra Carve, which use reverse kingpin trucks. How I usually describe cruisers to beginners is you take a longboard, you take a street skateboard, you melt them together and you get a cruiser. Now with surf skate trucks, again, there are always exceptions but the dominant form uses a front pivoting adapter, which dramatically increases turning radius and makes pumping off the charts. Just, just freaking, it's, it's out of here, dude. Just off, it's crazy. If we take a look at the Yao Meraki, you can see the truck hanger is directly attached to the spring adapter. These adapters on average are gonna add an inch of height to your setup. So if you're coming from a street skateboard or a cruiser skateboard, you're going to feel like you're riding a skyscraper. Not to say it's not fun. It's just that extra height is pretty surprising to someone who's never surf skated before. Then I think it's worth mentioning these cross hybridization. Is that a word? I don't know if that's a word, but trucks that start to like blur the line. For example, a uh, Carver C5 is a bushing based RKP that sits fairly low to the ground. This allows you to build a setup that's lighter and easier to push compared to spring based adapters, yet still retains some of that flowy pumpability. Now let's discuss the differences between the decks, which to be honest, there's a lot of similarities and isn't as black and white as the trucks. Most cruisers will be a little shorter and thinner when compared to surf skate decks since portability is usually a main factor. There are so many personal preferences though when it comes to the length, the width, the concave, the wheelbase, the kicks, you name it, very subjective. From a functionality perspective, noses and kicks are usually used on cruisers to pop off the ground. While on surf skates, they're typically used to lock your feet in or catch your feet while you're doing slides or deep carves. Now for the wheels, cruisers mostly have a smaller diameter, rounded lips, and stone ground contact patches. Smaller wheels will accelerate faster, but have a slower top speed. Rounded lips and stone grounded contact patches make speed checks and slides easier. Surf skate wheels usually have a larger diameter, sharp lips, and smooth contact patches. As you could probably guess, a larger wheel will accelerate slower, but will have a higher top speed. Sharp lips will grip the pavement when pumping and deep carving. I want to emphasize that all of this stuff is subjective and personal preference because I have surf skate setups that use small hard wheels with rounded lips so I can slide out. Like it really just comes down to the riding style you're doing. Now I briefly touched on this in the truck section when I talked about the C5, but what about a setup that starts to blur that line? Something that's not technically a cruiser, that's not technically a surf skate. It, it transcends. Recently, I wanted something that I could pump and surf, but still push without feeling super twitchy. And I landed on this setup, which is basically just narrow RKPs on an 18 inch wheelbase. It's super fun to ride. And uh, yeah, I'd bring it up because I think you should try it. Okay, now that you hopefully have a better understanding of the differences between a surf skate and a cruiser, here are some common scenarios to help you decide. If you wanna push for longer distances, now 
to be clear, I'm not talking long distance, like miles and miles, but a cruiser would make much more sense than a surf skate since it's lower to the ground, more stable, and overall lighter. If you want something that's highly maneuverable, pumpable, easy to start from a standstill, great for smaller spaces, mellow hills, surf skates are probably the move for you. Some in-between options would be Carver C5, Yao Legacy, Lanyard Surf Skates, Narrow RKPs, the list goes on. I think it's also worth noting that if you're someone who wants to commute for longer distances, miles and miles, and wants the most efficient setup for that, you should look into LDP. If you're curious about the differences between a longboard and surf skate, you should check out this video.